Well, exhibitions and events dedicated to design and architecture have been taking place over the years in India. But one recent event in the capital gave a platform to lesser known aspects of Indian architecture and design. Vion's Nikita Singh brings you more. Delhi mein aayojit ho rahe India Art, Architecture and Design Biennale कई आयोजन कई मायनों में खास है Welcome to the first ever Indian Art, Architecture and Design Biennale where we celebrate the history and journey of Indian Art and Architecture. The spectacular Biennale was inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in order to highlight the convergence of creativity and culture. And what better place to host it than the historic Red Fort itself where thousands of people from diverse backgrounds come in every day to engage with various aspects of art. Organized by the Ministry of Culture, there are seven curated exhibitions, each telling a unique tale. From the celebration of women architects like Urmila Yuli Chaudhary to the depiction of India's vibrant design traditions and post-independence architecture. In order to celebrate some well-known and upcoming women architects of India, there's a separate exhibition called Samatva, which means equal. That also forms the essence of this exhibition. It not only showcases their final pieces of work, but also highlights their work environment and their work process. How many cities have been designed uh, by women? People are not able to name any. And that doesn't mean that women haven't been a part of shaping our built environment. It's just that they haven't been celebrated, they haven't been recognized. And that's why we are celebrating uh, Urmila Yuli Chaudhary, and this is her 100th birth anniversary. And she was pivotal in also shaping uh, Chandigarh along with Corbusier. And I think when you're talking about inspiration, for us, she is an inspiration. So women who have paved the way because of whom we are here today and we can talk about these issues. Another key highlight was the Baage Bahar. The exhibition showcased 48 gardens across the nation, highlighting the importance of gardens in a city's framework. Binale has ridden on the back of artists who came on and participated in this as part of the open call, which we gave in end August, September. India is an aspirational country with 65% of our uh, population below 35 years of age. Events like these, uh, Benalis, contribute 3.2% uh, to the GDP and give employment to, uh, you know, youngsters, the youth. And of course, there's no better way to understand India's rich collection of art forms than to immerse yourselves in art workshops. So basically what we have done is we have taken inspiration from all the seven exhibitions that you see. So for instance, today's exhibition is around uh, indigenous art because there is a section where you have Warli art and Gond art on display. So taking inspiration from what we have in the Binale is what we are offering to the audience. Themes are similar for both National Museum and NGMA but the catch point here is that the uh, traditional way National Museum is doing and their modern and contemporary way we are doing at the National Gallery of Modern Art. The Benale clearly brought out India's unique identity in architecture and design. A fact only cemented further by a participating architect. Traditionally, uh, we have focused on sustainability in our architecture. If you look at vernacular building practices, traditional building practices. But now I think the aspirations towards a world-class city have moved us away from sustainability, trying to be like each other. When Tokyo wants to be New York, New York wants to be like Dubai, and Delhi wants to be like Dubai. I think uh, we are moving away from what were the inspirations in the past. With camera person Joy Bhattacharya this is Nikita Singh for Vion World is One.